Welcome back, Gadgeteers. If you hear any fan noise in the background, I do apologize. I have a fan running. Anyway, let's get right to it. So you can see I've got the command line up. So that means we are going to be doing a couple of commands. Very few, though. And I want to say that the purpose is useful. So if anybody has done an installation of Linux or an upgrade at least Fedora Linux I can't say it's all the distributions the only one I can guarantee is it's Fedora um, and you log into GNOME so GNOME is your desktop preference an auto update a DNF auto update is going to occur and it'll tell you very much like Windows and Microsoft um, warning your system is updating do not power off or reboot so you guessed it you have to sit there and watch the updates go through actually you don't see anything just that text on the screen I suppose uh, if you hit escape you might be able to see exactly what it's doing which updates it's downloading but unfortunately Linux has gotten to the point well Fedora anyway where they're becoming very Windows like um, if you watched my previous video in Fedora 34 for GNOME they put the so-called start bar the icons the default icons at the bottom of the screen and the reason they did this they said is because it's very much like um, what Windows is doing and Mac OS and I don't care what they're doing I would prefer that Linux do what it wants now the auto update it's kind of a toss-up. Fedora is trying to say, hey, we we are becoming very much like Windows and people are wanting to use our operating system that really don't have any knowledge, which I don't think is the case. I think it's a mixed bag and I think the majority have some Linux knowledge. So what's the point? Well, what do we do if we want to shut off automatic updates? I'm going to give you the commands that worked for me that I found doing research and if you are in Fedora it's the higher ones 32 33 34 where you might want to do this so how do you do it well you run the installation of Fedora and before you reboot you run these commands so let's have a look so the first command is a system CTL command whoops don't put the dash It's going to let us know if we have any timers running. I'm not worried about inactive timers right now, so I'm going to hit quit. The next one you want to try is system CTL list DNF dash automatic. So it looks like, oh, my, my mistake not list status I was just curious if the DNF automatic was installed another way that you could check and see if DNF dash automatic is installed is to do a DNF list uh, DNF slash automatic and don't do all the errors that I'm typing in okay so what does this tell us it says the package is available but it's not installed so I don't have to worry about DNF automatic if it was an issue I could do the previous command and ignore how bad I am at typing and just do remove so DNF remove DNF dash automatic but I don't have it installed and I can't tell you if it's appropriate for your distro to remove it or not. For mine, it's not even installed, so it's a moot point. All right, next. Um, let's have a look at the package kit service. So system CTL status and lots of text here. Package kit dot service you probably don't have to include service but we'll do it anyway 
Uh, it is active and it is running. Okay, and there's one more we want to have a look at. Dash offline. I'm going to hit tab and it auto completes for me. Let's see if this particular service is running. No, it's not running. Uh, it makes sense because I'm not technically offline, which I am assuming it means logged out or um, not doing anything on the system because if it were offline completely, um, unless the updates were downloaded previously, uh, it couldn't install them. So, what can I do? Well, the thing is, even though we don't have DNF-automatic installed, the updates still happen when you're using uh, Fedora and you're, it, you're using GNOME as your desktop. So what you can do is run system CTL. Actually what I'll do, I'll make it easier on me. This one is dis is stopped, so I'm just going to do disabled. Oops. There we go. Okay, so I've disabled uh, the offline package kit service, and then I need to do just package kit. Disabling them doesn't stop them, so what that means is they will continue running until the system is rebooted. Are we worried? Probably not, but we can go ahead and shut them down now. Same command. So disable shuts them down for future reboots, but if we want to stop them now, we can use systemctl stop and same thing this one we know it's not running but if it is that's the command you want to type in now I've tested this myself in GNOME and it does work so when you reboot GNOME and you go into um, log into the GNOME desktop you don't do auto updates so this actually works uh, the other thing I tested was software. So you can still go into software and download packages and do what you were doing before shutting these off. That was my concern initially was that we wouldn't be able to use software in GNOME and um, download other packages or do updates. You can still do all of that. So you can do graphical updates if you want. You can use DNF. Uh, to do updates on the command line, which I prefer. All right, future mark coming at you here. I neglected to mention that the software app is graphical, and we can just do a quick test here. I don't know what music is, but let's check it out. No screenshot. Let's go ahead and do install and see what happens. Okay, music is not supported. We got to get something that's supported. Uh, most of the stuff I have installed. We'll try this video editor, which I don't use, and see if it will install. Okay, so it says installing, which basically means downloading. And it went ahead and did the download and launch. So we now have. I don't even know how to say that. Pativi? I don't know how to say that. But here is the video editor. Don't worry about these announcements over here. So basically, um, Plasma Desktop is telling me, dude, you haven't updated in a long time. You have 987 new updates. Maybe you should do them. And I probably should. And I will. But the whole point is, the updates won't be done for you automatically and I really really prefer that I don't want to get into the the point where it's like Windows I don't want it to be like Windows I want it to be Linux anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did 
like and subscribe if you really enjoyed it drop a comment if you hated it drop a comment or dislike either way thanks for watching i'll see you next time on fast gadgets this video was made possible with support from viewers like you if you find this video useful consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets